Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yao Shai, 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 Bahasham, Rakha Hakudash, Kahalayim La, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham Yao Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Hakudash, All Praise to Our Power, Yahawa, Bahasham Yao Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Hakudash. Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, who still rule well, being great examples unto all Israel, beginning with the elect. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Stay strong. We almost home. All right. Yeah, the time just changed, but uh, it was 1.11 p.m., you know, 1.11. Now, I was speaking to, you know, the elder brothers of Hob, the head of our camp down in Mississippi. You know, we be speaking about numbers a lot and stuff. And, you know, a lot of numbers have spiritual significance. It's a spiritual meaning behind numbers, you know. And uh, the, the number 111, it goes into a new beginning. And we've been seeing that number a lot, man. So, you know, with spiritual, man, I just, you know, found a park. I'm about to take care of something real quick, you know. But, um, you know, right when I arrived at my destination, it was 1.11 p.m. I'm like, man, you can't make this up. And I've been seeing that number a lot, you know, revolving around the Passover, revolving around just different situations, you know, just different things going on. I've been seeing that number a lot. And we're in a new beginning. Hey, is it not written? Esau, Edom is the end of the world. And Jacob, the Israelites are the beginning of it that followeth. You know, so the beginning, the new beginning the new beginning, you know, and the Lord, he's hitting the reset button in a lot of our lives right now. A lot of things are are being recalibrated. You know, things are starting over. You know, the Lord is rearranging certain things, you know, whatever the case may be for something better. All right. But, um, yeah, I found it spiritual. I arrived here at 111 p.m. and uh, 111 goes to a new beginning. You know, but um, yeah, getting right into it, though, man, I, I'm not sure what I want to call this. I had like three different titles, you know, um, one title I had was the scripture, the Elder Apostle Gabar and Elder Apostle Rakaya Allah was talking about. You know, there's one title I had, you know, um, what's the what's the other title? I had two others. Um. Another title I had was, uh, was, you know, damn, man, I, I be thinking so much, you know how your mind kind of be racing and stuff like that. I can't even, <laughs> I can't even remember what it is right now. You know, Hey, we got this treasure in earth and vessels. All right. Sometimes I don't have the best memory. So excuse me. All right. I'm not the, uh, <laughs> I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. All right. But, um, the, you know, the first title I mentioned, um, the scripture Elder Apostle Gabar and Elder Apostle Rakaya Allah was talking about. That was one of them. OK. And. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to just say the second one, because I can't think of the third one right now. But for right now, I'm going to go with the second one. But it links up with the first anyway, you know. But uh, for, for some reason, I can't think of the third right now, man. You know, I got a lot on my mind. You know, I just got to run in. You know, I've been exercising. You know, but it's a lot on my spirit. But, you know, I'm going to go with the second one. The, this, the second title is Yahweh is the only power. Our God is the truth. You know, and, and, and the first title is great as well. You know, and, and, and what I'm going into, this is the scripture or or uh, or scriptures. The apostles was talking about and you're going to see what I'm talking about because and and you know what? Maybe the third uh, title, man, the Edomite thick as hell. God damn. So like, excuse me. Yeah, my bad, man. Jay got distracted, you know, a lot of damn, you know, a lot of a lot of women down south, you know, so like you, man, that shit crazy. Um, Damn, man, women are fucking distraction, man. Um, like I said, I can't think of the third, but for right now, 
I'm going to go with the second title. Yahweh is the only power. Our God is the truth. Okay? And um and basically uh you know just getting right into it, man. This this video is inspired from two things I heard the apostles say. I heard El Apostle Gabar say it first, but then, you know, we've been blessed and privileged to be among the uh, El Apostle Raka, also known as, you know, Raka Yala, El Apostle, El Apostle Raka Yala, which means, uh, it means spirit of the power, you know, Raka Yala, spirit of the power. You know, we've been blessed to be among them, but something he said, and also I heard El Apostle Gabar say it first, but when I heard El Apostle Raka Yala say it too, it just domed on me. The Lord really did this. And you're going to see what I mean. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to read a few scriptures in the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 44, and you're going to see what I'm getting into. So, all right, we're in the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 44. We're going to begin in verse 1. Hey, that's spiritual. Hey, that's uh that's that's 144, you know, um backwards. Uh, 441 144 man I ain't, I ain't trying to get all deep or whatever I, I love seeing that number man that's that's motivation for us you know 144 but anyway the book of the prophet Isaiah chapter 44 beginning verse 1 yet now hear O Jacob my servant and Israel whom I have chosen thus saith Yahweh that made thee and formed thee from the womb which will help thee fear not O Jacob my servant and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. Was Jeshurun, that's a, uh, a epithet or, a, or poetic name for Israel. It means the first. Uh, you got the elder brother, Yashawamba. Uh, Yashawan uh, means the first. Uh, Yashawan, that's how you say Jeshurun in Hebrew. It's Yashawan, which means, it means chosen or the first. So Yashawan, ba, ba, that means uh, like second. You know, in case like if you got a, like a first Yasha one, you know, putting the ba on the end, that's like the second. Or like, like for example, you got like a junior, like you got a son, that like, you know, he he's the, the second you. So Yasha one ba, that's like Yasha one the second. All right. FYI. But um, let's read that again, man. Hey, this is just, man, this is beautiful, man. All right. Isaiah 44, verse 2. Thus saith Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, that made thee. And form thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. That's happening right now. The water represents the living waters, this truth. And we're thirsty, you know, we're 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 uh if if at first, before before we woke up, we were a dehydrated people. We're, we're classified as dry bones without the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, we were called dry bones um, in Ezekiel 37. We were also called dead bodies in Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. So we are the ones that are thirsty. We are the dry because at one point in time, before we woke up, we were without the truth, right? Now it says, I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. That's happening right now. We are the seed and we are the offspring because we are the Israelites that will receive the word in the future. We're in the future now. All right. So we are that seed and we are that offspring, you know, and it says, and they shall spring up as among the grass. <laughs> Them, uh, <laughs> eight old sleeper cells, man. And we popped up. We every damn word now. We covered the earth, man. You devils are through. You know, you listen to this, man. You damn, you damn, uh, bankers, man. You know, you will eat Edomites are finished, man. Now it says, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses, because you see Israelite camps everywhere now. You know, now it says, one shall say, I am Yahweh's. We say that. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. We say that. We say that we Israelites, you know. And the fact that we call ourselves Jacob or Israel, that means we're going to take the place of you. Edom, because Jacob means supplant. He supplants. And the word supplant, it means under the sole of the foot. And it means to take the place of another. So we're going to take your place in power. Edom, you out of here, man. Now it says, 
and another shall subscribe or write with his hand unto Yahweh. We're writing the Hebrew. We're writing the name Yahweh in the Hebrew. Okay? We doing that, man. One, 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 one again. Hey, it's spirit, man. You know, I, I see it on a, uh, a license plate, you know, car driving by right now, you know. But, hey, I got this uh, this medallion that's given to me or gifted to me by the brother uh, Yakanan from Memphis. And you see this medallion, man, it has the name Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah on it. So it says in this scripture, in Isaiah chapter 44, verse 5, it says how, and another shall subscribe or write with his hand unto Yahweh. So we write in the name of the Lord and his son in the Hebrew. You can't get around that. You can't get around that, man. All right. And now it says, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Your surname, that's your last name. So, for example, we just had the Basak, right? I don't know what's wrong with this damn thing, man. My, my little camera. Hold on. Excuse me. All right, that's a little better. Yeah, it was kind of tripping a little bit, man. All right. There we go. I'm trying to make sure everything is perfect doing this video. Some sign of technology be tripping, man. Okay. Yeah, that's better. So, yeah. Let me move this. Maybe that'll be a little bit better, too. Okay, yeah. Um Yeah, man, let's read Let's read um verse 5 again. Isaiah chapter 44 verse 5. One shall say I am Yahweh's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahweh, and surname himself by the name of Israel. So, for example, we just had the Pesach, the Passover, you know, and um, when you would give your your uh, your registry, you would say your Hebrew name, not no goddamn English name, all right? Not not the name of your uh, captor. You're not gonna say your slave name, man. Or you know, English, Spanish, Portuguese, French. You ain't gonna say that shit. You gonna say your name in the Hebrew. You should have a Hebrew name. You know. So for example, you know, I would say uh, Kazak or Kazak Yaala, and I would say Bun. Bun means son. So uh, I'll say the son of my tribe, which I believe in Judah. You know, so I, I would say uh, Kazak or Kazak Yahweh, Bun Yahweh, Yahweh, that's Judah in the Hebrew. Then I will say Bun, which is son again, uh, Bun Yasharala, which is Israel. You know, so Israel or Yasharala, that's our surname. That's, the, that's our last name because it's the name of our forefather. Okay. Yashar Allah, Israel, man. Okay. And um, yeah, let's keep reading. Because I didn't get to the main point of why I'm getting into this. So let's keep reading. All right. Verse 6. Thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the king of Israel, and his redeemer, Yahweh of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And beside me there is no God. You know. Now, when you get into the context of this, you know, it's it's deep because, see, the Heavenly Father, he was never created. So as far as the one that's first and last, really that's dealing with his son, you know, but also when you deal with the Heavenly Father, he's like, no matter where you go, you're going to bump into me. You know, I'm, I'm everywhere pretty much, you know, so, you know, you, you can't avoid... The Heavenly Father, man. Hey, well, King David even said that. King David, hey, well, you know, let's let's get it. Let's get what our king said, man. You know? Real quick, and I'm going to go back to that. And I want to do more videos, man, with, you know, that actually, you know, speak about something, you know? And like I said, this is inspired from, uh, from what... The Elder Apostle Gabar and Elder Apostle Rakayala has said. And you're going to see what I'm getting into. And the topic is Yahweh is the only power. Our God is the truth. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, this is what our King, King David said. All right? 
which the heavenly father, he's our king and his son is our king. But as far as uh, in the earthly realm, you know, uh, King David, he's also our king. You know, under Yahweh Shai, King David is the king over Israel. OK. Now, um, this is what King David said. Psalms chapter 139 and. Uh, <laughs> hey, we can start at the top, you know. Oh, Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Now, this King David speaking, but, but put yourself in the shoes of King David. All right. Think about how the Heavenly Father is the God of your whole life. And, and take take a uh, righteous pride in that, too, man. You know, be like my, my God doing this thing, man. You know, you know, a, a, a take confidence in that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Be like me and my God came through Hey, because you read about our forefathers. They were very possessive when it came to the Lord dealing with them, man. You know, the, the, the God of Daniel, the God of Abraham, you know. The God of this prophet, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, hey, that's big, man. That's big. Oh, Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. You know everything about us. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. So whatever you do and before you do it, the Lord know all about that, man. You know, <laughs> when you about to sit down, when you about to get up, you know, call me you about to, you know, rise up, you know, you... Hey, everything about you, he know all that, man. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compasses my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. And that's also why we got to be honest, speaking first and foremost to myself, you know. We got to be honest in his truth because we can't lie to the Holy Spirit, man. You can't hide nothing from it. So the, the, the best thing you could do is just be honest, man, because it's, it's all going to come out any damn way. You can't hide shit, you know. The Lord, he's acquainted with all our ways. He knows your mind. He made it, you know, so we got to be honest, man, you know. But, you know, reading on, for there is not a word in my tongue below, O Lord, yeah, how about you, shy? thou knowest it all together. So before you even speak, before you said something, he already knew what you was going to say. You know what I'm saying? Thou has beset me behind and before. <laughs> you So you surrounded by the spirit, man. And laid thine hand upon me. And who's the hand? Yahweh Shah. See, he's, he's dealing with us. The Heavenly Father, he's dealing with us by way of Yahweh Shah. And that's very honorable. Because see, you know, everybody won't want that top spot. First of all, we're not worthy. Secondly, hey, Yahweh Shah. He's the man, you know, he's the man for that job. None of us die for the nation of Israel, you know, just be grateful. The Lord dealing with us, man. I believe the Lord dealing with us, you know. Hey, the Lord, he laid his hand upon you. He's dealing with you by way of your house shot. And that's highly important, man. You know, such knowledge, this truth, listen to this. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. And that's how we feel. Like, you know, this truth is so overwhelming, man. And, and it's, it's multifaceted. It's manifold. It, it has uh, different layers to it. Hey, man, like the movie Matrix, like, uh, like Morpheus told Neo, you see how deep the rabbit hole really goes, man. Like, this, this truth, this thing is deep. Like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm wooed. You know, and I was meditating on it like the other day, man. I was like, man, how is it? The Lord gave us 144% truth, you know, it's spiritual. He gave us 100% truth, you know, he gave us the, the Holy Spirit. Because he unloosed the seven seals, which means that he unlocked the complete understanding of the Bible, right? So the Lord gave us our understanding. We have an unction from the Holy One, we know all things. He gave us that, but I was meditating, like a lot of us brothers, man, we young as fuck, man. Like, man, we super young. Like still, like man, you probably been in the truth a little over a decade, and we still learning, bro. Like you know, I was meditating. I was like, man, like how is it that you know everything, but you know nothing? And that's shit true because our experience level is very base. You know what I mean? You know we coming around a little bit, 
but at the same time, we're still Johnny come lately's man. Don't ever in your in your mind think that uh you can measure up to what the Lord got the apostles doing, man. You know, we gotta do what is uh required and um you know stick to our pay grade, man. And and that's what I I really want to focus on. I'm not gonna do stuff that ain't my damn job. That's not my office, you know. But this knowledge is so wonderful, man. That's why we got to cherish the spirit while there's time. There's a lot of men that woke up this morning. You can imagine this. Imagine that. Guys woke up this morning that, that was at once upon a time in the truth. They woke up this morning without any of it at all, man. Without any recollection of it. They woke up this morning without praising the names. Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. So cherish the spirit. We all got two more, man. While there's still time. Now, all right, now let's uh let's keep reading. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy presence? <laughs> you can't. If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. And that's a cut on you goddamn elite, man, of, of uh Edom. Because y'all want to go into the upper atmosphere, you want to go go into space and have weapons in space. Nigga, the angels waiting on you already. Don't you know the angels are on standby? All right. Hey, waiting on your ass, man. You know, if I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. The Lord, he's he he is. He is, man. If I make my bed in hell, which is the grave, underground, behold, thou art there. And see, these elite Edomites, they're actually doing that. They have these different uh doomsday bunkers underground. That's them making their bed in hell. You know, a comfortable place a comfortable setting underground the lord gonna meet your ass down there man and see the the thing is the lord so far out man and i praise y'all by shimmy shot in this he gonna show so many different things in these last days man that's why we got to stay in the spirit so we don't bug out people gonna bug out man when they see what the lord really gonna do you know if i take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea Hey, because you had the angels underwater too, man. You know, hey, the angels are everywhere, man. The angels are in the upper atmosphere. You know, you got you got different spiritual forces underground and even underwater, man. Even underwater. Well, Columbus experienced that when uh when them chariots came out the water. He called them St. Elmo's fire, you know. So King David said, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Which is who? Yahweh Shah. You know? We're being comforted by Yahweh Shah always. And what did he say? Lo, which means look, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world, man. The end of the age. Edom is the end of the world, man. So we're here now. We're here. You know what I'm saying? But but this man ending, his ending is our beginning. And I keep seeing one one one, man. You know? Also one four four. Yeah, I see that a lot. You also, you also see 777, 444, 333, 222. You know, it's just spiritual significance with numbers. And we don't get all into that. You know, we're not uh, numerologists and stuff. We're not astrologers or none, or none of that madness. But it's good to know some of these things, man. The point is, though, the Lord is everywhere. He is, man. So let's go back to the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 44, Lord willing, man. I want to uh, get to the main point of why I'm getting into this. All right. And I pray I hope it's making sense. All right. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse six. Thus saith Yahweh. Thus saith Yahweh, the king of Israel and his redeemer, Yahweh of hosts. Hosts mean armies. I am the first and I am the last. And beside me, there is no God. Bro, this is beautiful. We're going to read verse 7 down to 8. And who is I shall call and shall declare it and set it in order for me since I appointed the ancient people. Listen to the spirit of Yahweh, man. All right. Listen to the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Osha. When you read this, the Lord, he, he pretty much uh, bragging on himself, man. 
You know, he's boasting. You read read this, hey, the Lord getting down, man. He he's a uh, he 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 boasting on himself. You know, he's boasting on himself. And who is I shall call and shall declare it, and set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people. Like the Lord, like I, I did this. You know, and the things that are coming, which are what the prophecies, the prophecies, and the things that are coming and shall come, let them show unto them, which mean. Y'all believe in these fake ass gods. Let them show you what's going to happen. Because see, the, the thing that separates the Bible, the, 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 the true book of the Lord from these other books, these other books and philosophies do not deal with prophecy, man. They're not telling you what's about to come. They don't go into the Karagma. They don't speak about uh, Edom coming down with great wrath. They don't speak about the martial law, the, uh, the FEMA camps, you know, the famine. You know, they don't speak about you know, the Israelites being raised up, the elect, the spiritual power, the chariots of the Lord coming back, the huge fathership coming back. You know, Yahweh shot piloting that ship. These other philosophies don't deal with that. Okay. Reading this again, Isaiah 44 and 6 down to 8. Thus said Yahweh. Yahweh means he is, he to be, he exists. The king of Israel. And his redeemer, Yahweh of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. And beside me, there is no God. That's why I entitled this Yahweh, the only power. Okay. And I'm going to sum this thing up in a minute because I've been going for a little bit, you know. But Yahweh, the only power. And that's why I like those videos by the beloved brother, Yashalom from the main camp, uh, GMS Watchman. If you're not already subscribed, you know, subscribe to that brother. You know, GMS Watchman. I believe he's on like his third channel because Edom keep uh, terminating the channels, you know. Jake be having to switch it up. But I believe he's on GMS Watchman 3 now. Like, share, and subscribe, you know, so you can be edified, man. But, you know, a lot of times he do videos. He had a little music in the videos. And some of his videos, he had, uh, you know, the beginning. They had one song by Kanye and Future, uh, Father Stretch My Hands. You know, you know, in the beginning, it started off with... Uh, I think it's Kanye Choir that, that uh, he got, but it's like, you're the only power. You know, I don't got the best singing voice, you know, but it's like, you're the only power. Now, I think they say power again, but the way they say it, it almost sounds like they're saying uh, Yahweh. You're the only power, Yahweh. Like, it almost sounds like that, you know, you know, and then Jake singing and stuff. But see, it's really like that, though. And the proof is... Let's read 7 and 8, and that goes into what Elder Apostle Gabar and Elder Apostle Rakai Allah was getting into, man. And who is I shall call and shall declare it, and set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people. So, and Lord, like, basically, y'all ain't hitting on shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you deal with these other philosophies and these, these different deities behind these philosophies, now I'm going to say this. These different idols that people believe in, Especially like going back to the ancient world, they were made of uh, wood, brass, iron, you know, uh, gold and silver. You know, the heathens and even Israel was worshiping actual, you know, statues, you know, idols. And those idols are not real. But I'm going to say this. There are uh, different energies or, uh, or forces behind those things they were worshiping, man. Because... Those idols can't see, they can't hear, they can't walk, they can't talk, they can't breathe, you know. But but demons are real, man. So, you know, people in the ancient world, and even today, you know, you know, hey, uh, these are not gods per se, but those demons are real though. You know? And and the Lord know all of them. See, that's why he's the only power, man. Cause cause these these uh spirits. These different demons, they ain't running shit. They ain't running shit, man. Even uh, Satan, you know? Hey, Satan and the Heavenly Father, they're like the uh, the best of buddies, man. Now, they're not equal. You know, uh, Satan is under the Heavenly Father. And also, uh, you know, Satan, he's the son of God. And and and, uh, and he works and worships the Heavenly Father. He, he, he works for the Heavenly Father and he worships the Heavenly Father. And he, wor he works for Yahweh Shai now. Satan, he works for Yahweh Shai and he worships Yahweh Shai, you know. 
But, you know, sticking to the topic. Hey, the Lord said, who is I shall call and shall declare it and set it in order for me since I, since I appointed the ancient people. So the Lord, like I did all this. I'm controlling y'all people. I'm, I'm controlling everything. And the things that are coming, prophecy, and shall come, let them show unto them. So, yeah, let your sweet Jesus, you know, let Caesar Borgia, and uh, let Allah, let, let Buddha, let Krishna, let all these false philosophies, let all these different, different damn Pan-African gods tell y'all what's going to happen. Right? This is what the Lord said. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. So this gives us comfort. Don't worry about JT, man. Don't worry about Jacob's trouble, all right? Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Hey, going back to when we was in Egypt. You should know the power that delivered you from Egypt. It's the same power. He never changed, man. And we on that same earth. It's not like we on a different damn planet. We on the same planet where the Lord did. He performed all these miracles, man. And he's going to do greater miracles this time. Greater plagues and greater miracles, man. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yeah, there is no God. I know not any. Why am I getting into this? Because dealing with the two statements that I heard through the spirit, man, the eagle, man, you ugly as hell, man, staring at me. That was ugly as hell, man. But, um, yeah, uh, like, like um, El Apostle Gabar said, like he said, man, um, you know, he said how the Heavenly Father actually said he went around looking for another God and couldn't find one. That's basically what the Lord's saying right here. Is there a God beside me? Yeah, there is no God. I know not any. Now, you know, when I was in the A and I was among El Apostle Rakaya Allah, because we were doing a sit down and, uh, and he said that uh, if the Lord said this, he actually went out into the universe to, to actually look and see if there was another God and couldn't find one. Hey, bro, the, the, the Lord is just pure power, man. You know what I'm saying? Bro, he, he, is, he is pure power. All right? Just picture that, man, because see, you know, and for you damn flat earthers out there, we're not on a flat earth, all right? You know, nigga believe we in a damn dome, like, like the damn Simpsons movie. We in a damn dome, you know, and then you walk so far off into the dome and it's like you uh you run into some glass or some shit, man. Man, get the hell up out of here, Jake. You tripping, bro. You know, humble yourself, man. You know, st stop thinking in that flat earth shit, man. The earth is round, man, pursuing to, uh, what's that? Is that Isaiah 40? Let's get it. I, I don't want to, because we in Isaiah already. Fuck it, man. Let's, let's look for it. Isaiah 40, and I believe it's 20, yep, 22. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22. It is he that sitteth upon a circle of the earth, showing you the earth is round, man. Ain't no fucking flat earth. And the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, meaning people on the earth, you know, uh, to the spiritual realm, people on earth, they look like insects, you know? You're like, you're like little microscopic insects to the heavenly father and the angels. Now it says, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain. So he stretched out the universe like a curtain, man. And you even got these damn Edomite philosophers, they say that the universe is still growing. <laughs> Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know what's out there, man. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord can measure it. The Lord can measure the universe, man. Now it says, and spread them out as a tent to dwell in. And he says something similar in um what's that? Uh you know what? Let's let's get it. I want to speak with scripture as much as possible. All right. Um Psalms 104. And yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. Psalm chapter 104, verse 1. Barakatha Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. Oh my soul. O oh, Yahweh, my power, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment. Was that uh, Daniel uh, 7 and 9? You know, uh, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The ancient days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. And the hair of his hair like the pure wool. So the Heavenly Father, 
has an actual body. He has color, by the way. He's a he's a dark skinned entity. He's a dark skinned spiritual being with a white afro and, and a white beard and a long white garment. You know, and he's a giant man. He's he's huge, okay. But he got an actual body, you know, who covers that stuff with the light as with the garment because what what is he called? A consuming fire. He he's pure energy, man. Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. There you go. Again. <laughs> like that one song. <laughs> Whoop. There it is. But there it is again, man. Verse 3. Who left the beams of his chambers in the waters. Now, beams is like uh, like like uh, beams of wood. Like, for example, you got beams of wood that you use to, uh, to make the frame of a house. You know, so in chambers, it's like rooms. So it's like different, like different rooms within the universe man it's like you know it's you know like the universe is one big house and it's like these different planets within these galaxies within the universe is like furniture you know it's like furniture like the lord furnished his house man who lived the beams of his chambers in the waters what's the waters the universe A outer space you know what they call outer space and we're in outer space it's just that we're on a planet right now what does scripture say? He hangeth the earth upon nothing. All right, so right now we 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 on a, a sphere that's that's floating in what they call the middle of nowhere. But but really it's somewhere, you know, bro. And that's why I can't wait till we leave the earth, man. Like I want to see what's out here, man. Hey, uh, what 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 the Lord say? In His Father's house are many mansions, right? But let's stick, let's stay on the topic. You know, I don't want to be all over the place. Excuse me. Who lay up the beams of His chambers and the waters? Who make of the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind. And to that one motherfucker, to that one goddamn devil, man, that, that one Edomite. Um, I was watching the History Channel, and I believe I was watching Ancient Aliens. But, you know, it got to a point to where, you know, sometimes they'll speak about the scriptures. And this one Edomite here brought up Ezekiel's will. He was going to Ezekiel, the, uh, the first chapter. You know, which basically speaking about the second coming of the Lord when you get into it. You know, you got the four archangels. They're they're classified as uh as four living creatures in Ezekiel the first chapter. Uh Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, and Raphael. And really it's seven, but scriptures mainly go into four, you know. But also hey, uh what's that? Uh, Revelation uh Revelation chapter four. They're called they're called beasts. They're called they're called uh, four beasts, you know, but they're also called four living creatures. You read Ezekiel one, you know, but um, hey, you read Ezekiel, it goes into the the uh, the, the ships that the four arch archangels gonna be in, and it, it goes to the ships that's gonna follow them, and then it's going into that main father ship that the Lord coming back in, which which you know it and it, it somewhat links up with uh, I don't want to get all into because I don't want to. You know, be all over the place, and I want to be as scripturally accurate as possible. But I'm gonna say it reminds you of uh, of Daniel seven. I, was, I mentioned Daniel seven and nine earlier, but see, that's how the Lord is coming back, man. That's how Yahweh Shai, the Son of the Heavenly Father, coming back, and it tells you it's in the Gospels. It says how Yahweh Shai, he's gonna come in his own glory and the glory of his Father. And the glory of the holy angels. So, hey, Yahweh by Shimei was shy by Shemrakakwadash. That's the power that the Lord coming with, man. Hey, it's gonna be so powerful when Yahweh Shai come. It's like the Father showing up Himself, man. But I'm mentioning this right here. We we in Psalms 104 and three. It says how He make the cloud His chariots, right? Well, He makes the clouds His chariot. Because you had this one damn devil on that show, Ancient Aliens, on the History Channel. He was like, well, my God doesn't need a UFO to travel in. Well, motherfucker, he not your God, nigga. That's our God, man. You know? Yeah, you Edomites are through, man. Yeah, you know, my God doesn't need a spaceship to fly in. N nigga, he ain't your God. He's our God. He's the God of Israel. Okay? But, I, you know, I, I went into this also because going back to... um. To Isaiah 44 again. I know I'm a little bit all over the place. Excuse me. I'm going to get ready to close it out too because I got to get to work. All right. But going back 
to Isaiah chapter 44, verse 8 again. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. He's talking to Israel, not you Edomites. You Edomites got a lot to be afraid of. You got a lot to be afraid of. You, you, need, you better be afraid. God damn it. Y'all yeah, been looking real frail and scary lately, too. You better be that way. Hey, get used, get used to being afraid of us, man. All right? Now it says, Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time? And have declared it. Ye are even my witnesses. Going back to when the Lord took us out of Egypt and brought us to that mount, you know? Mount uh, Sinai. And gave us the law, statutes, and commandments. We're his witnesses. He didn't do that with any other people. He did that with Israel. All right. He hey, that first covenant and the second covenant. He only going to do that with Israel, too, man. All right. Now it says, is there a God beside me? Yeah, there is no God. I know not any. That's why the Lord was always beefing with us. He was like, I was dealing with you before these strange gods, man. When, when there was no strange gods among you. Y'all yeah, know I'm the only guy, so what, why the fuck you tripping? What's wrong with you, man? You know? Hey, so there is no God. He doesn't know any. So when I read this, I'm thinking about what the apostle said. When I read this, I think the Heavenly Father, I, I'm thinking about how he got in the chariot. The Heavenly Father got in the chariot and searched the universe. Hey, you got the one show, what was it called? The Outer Limits, you know? Well, you can't limit the most high. The Most High, he searched the heavens. He searched everything. He was in a chariot. He looked out into the universe. He couldn't find no other God, man. So, brothers, hey, take pride. Hey, man, let me flip the camera again. Take righteous pride in believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Because we have the only God, bro. We know his name, and his name is in the Hebrew. Okay? Not no goddamn English. Not no goddamn Spanish, not no Portuguese, not no French, not any other language. His, na his name is in the ancient Hebrew. That's the language of the heavens, man. And he gave that language, you know, ultimately he gave it to everybody. But, but, the, but the main nation that kept that language is his people. That's why we're called Hebrew Israelites. You know, the godly line of Adam would, would, would keep the, the name of the Lord, but also... The godly line of Adam would keep that language. You see? And we, we, hey, we got it all back, baby. You goddamn right. We got it all back. I hope I hope and pray this was uh, edifying. You know? I hope and pray this was edifying, man. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakha HaKudash. Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of GMS, Great Millstone. Peace and blessed to the elect. Stay strong. We almost home. And with that, we're going to put a curse on this bitch. Yahweh ba Hashem Yahweh Shai ba Hashem Racha Kudash ba Boko Shah ba Boko Shah ba Boko Shah abide ba Baal ba Boko Shah abide ba Baal ba Boko Shah abide ba Baal wa abide kal adawamyam wa abide kal gawiyam wa abide kal ayabim nawa ba Boko Shah ba Boko Shah ba Boko Shah Yahweh ba Hashem Yahweh Shai ba Hashem Racha Kudash the water, the water, the water, them yad, live alum, tazawarya, wagaalya, which um, them yad means always, live alum means to forever, tazawarya means uh, uh, my strength, uh, and uh, wagaalya means uh, in uh, um, my redeemer, all right, Baba Kasha means please, all right. And when I said call, call means all uh, Adawamium, that's Edom, all Edomites. And of course, abide means destroy, you know. And I said call Gawayum, so all the nations, all the heathens. And I said call Ayabimnawa, which means all our enemies. Lord, destroy them all, man. And the Lord mainly destroy Abab Abal, uh, Babylon the Great, man. A Bob a ball destroy Babylon, which is America. I hope, I hope and pray this is edifying. Shalom.